I like to cast the very, very best people for every part because it's one way to say, I'm not kidding around. I'm not trying to caricaturize anybody. I'm trying to find actors who will bring the most depth and nuance and humanity to every single role. Charlize is so passionate and so strong and so, uh, her, she's, all, she's, she's got all the craft she needs, but she doesn't think about craft. She's just thinking about truth. You know, she just comes at it with, but it's, it's passionate. You know, and she also admitted in the, in one of the, the Q and A's, that with Megyn Kelly, although she disagreed with a lot of things she says, she started realizing I have a lot in common with her. I'm ambitious. I'm, I'm strong. I'm accused sometimes of having sharp elbows and being too, you know, too combative. But she said, what I love about playing these characters. That I want to highlight the fact that if that was a man, no one would say this is a problem person. They would say, "Oh, look how look at that dude. He's impressive." That's what that's what drew her to the character. When I started talking to Nicole about this, she recognized a flaw in the script, which was based on the fact that we really couldn't learn much about Gretchen Carlson's story because she wasn't allowed to talk about it. And she, her thing, she's like, I don't need more screen time, but I think you're going to be worrying after you see your movie that you don't have enough to m help us connect with Gretchen Carlson. And she just had very specific suggestions about uh, connecting to Gretchen as a mother, for example. There should be some scenes where there, she, we see that she's a mom and that she has a, a, you know, a family to support and that she cares about that and so we wrote some scenes and she also suggested that um, you know we should probably connect with how hard it was to be alone and wondering what Megan Kelly so we shot a scene late in the process that she was so right about she just had great story instincts right she just knew what the story needed to help that character land in the movie. Margot's approach is a little different to the other two leads She's very analytical. So, like, I was surprised how many questions she had. She, our first meeting, she sat down. She had color coded every scene, had very carefully, uh, you know, handwritten notes in every, on every line. What's this mean? Why am I doing this? And they were like excellent questions. I brought Charles in. We we were like, this is so helpful. It made us try to understand. We made some changes based on her really good questions. One of the things I I do think. I hope happens is that men talk about this more, that somehow um, it encourages men to stand up for women. I think women have begun to encourage each other to stand up for each other. It hasn't gotten all that much better and we can't pretend like this movie is part of a reflection of some solution that closes the door on future you know, improvement. For women who don't have a lot of power uh, and, and you know a few of these women uh, Margot's character didn't have that much power, but but Gretchen and Megan's characters, they have money, they have got good lawyers, they got, you know, given how horrible their, their experiences were, they got somewhat, some sense of justice by the end. Most women get nothing.